Hey everyone. So I'm stuck in my car. Thought I'd pass the time waiting out this crazy torrential rain downpour. I'm doing a live video. So I um, I was on the way home from work and I'll wait for more a couple more people to jump on. But um, So I was on the way home from work and I stopped to get gas and I had this idea that occurred to me about all the drinks in um, in a gas station and so I went through and I picked picked up a handful of drinks um, a lot of the ones that I used to drink a lot of the ones that people think are quote unquote healthy and I was gonna like show them and analyze them really quick for you guys so um, I was gonna do this in my house but it's raining so hard that it took me like 20 minutes to get what would normally take five minutes because it's raining so hard I, I don't even know if you can hear it in the background but it's like crazy downpour so I'm not getting out of my car for a while. So, um, so yeah, I, I went into the gas station. I picked up five drinks and I wanted to offer a better alternative for one, but they're drinks that I would not think twice about drinking. I've had them a million times and people look at them and think, man, these are healthy. So I don't know if I can flip this around really quickly. So picked up these guys on the way home from work. So you've got like a protein shake, green juice, which I used to love green juice, a monster, a coffee and a tea, a peach green tea. So let's talk about these for a second. Do science. Oh shoot. I hit the wrong button. Oh, it slowed down. Look at that. The rain slowed down as soon as I turned this video on. Go figure. So, so check this out. Um, the first one okay monster everyone's had a monster energy drink right or a red bull or five hour energies or something along those lines this is the standard it's the monster max and people think yeah you know what i need a 2 p.m pick me up i'm tired i haven't slept for whatever reason i was up all night doing my own thing or you know because kids so i'll go and grab a monster so i can survive the day so check this out yeah, well, the camera's not going to work well. I'll read to you what it says. For 12 ounces, for one, it's 160 calories, but you look at the sugars in there, 42 grams of carbs in this monster. I mean, we've all been reading and hearing about how bad sugar is for you, right? Have you guys, have you guys watched the, um, the documentary on Netflix yet, The Magic Pill? If you have, like, raise your hand in the comments. If you haven't watched it, just do yourself a favor, take an hour and a half, go watch it. It's life changing. But sugar. And you know what sugar does? Feels great. Feels great while you're drinking it. And it's nice. And then you have a huge crash. Huge, huge crash. And that we all feel it every day. Like how many of you guys, um, I don't know, put a smiley face in the comments if you fairly consistently or have ever had like that 2, 3 p.m. crash where you go eat lunch feel pretty good and then you're like oh man you guys I don't know how I'm gonna survive the rest of my work day or you know the afternoon with my kids whatever it is like who's who's experienced that but yeah Shelly this monster has 42 grams of carbs it's gonna feel great for a minute and then you're gonna completely crash oh yeah and your body's gonna be really angry at you because you know sugar is evil I really do believe that sugar is evil low carb gotta have it in the a.m. I've got a new alternative I'll show you what it is okay so that's one this one, look at this. Fruits and vegetables, it's green juice, you guys. Who doesn't love green juice? I used to be a green juice fanatic. There's videos of me from last year teaching my three-year-old son to love green juice, and he loves it too. Green juice, green juice. It's healthy, right? Fruits and vegetables. Boosted smoothie, green machine. No sugar added, 100% juice. Let's look at the nutrition on it. First of all, it's 270 calories. That's fine. But get this. 63 grams of carbs. 63 grams of carbs. It might all come from fruits and vegetables, but it's terrible for you. It's going to make you feel like crap. You're going to drink it, and you're going to feel good for a while, and you're like, yeah, I did something healthy for myself today. I drank green juice. Well, not really. It's terrible for you. 63 grams of sugars you're poisoning your body for real okay what's next this who's heard of fair life it's a healthy brand it's dairy it's organic it's you look at this and you think that's going to be good for me if you're a guy you think core power high protein milkshake yeah I'm I work out this is going to be great for me 
I don't have time to eat today. I'm going to pick one of these guys up. There's 26 grams of protein in it. It's got to be great for me, right? Sure. 28 grams of carbs in this thing, too. 240 calories. So, yeah, you're getting 26 grams of, of, of protein in it, but there's all this sugar. And there's only 2 grams of dietary fiber. So you're, you know, if you were doing keto, this would throw you right out of ketosis. Just, uh, just this one little shake. Okay, two more. Tivana. Isn't that what they kind of, they partner with Starbucks? I think so. Is that Oprah's? I don't know. It's Tivana. It looks great. It looks healthy. It says peach green tea. Everyone loves green tea, right? It's a healthy option. I don't know why I'm blurry. Why am I blurry? Shoot. Oh, well. I look a hot mess. It's because I ran in the rain a little bit. Peach green tea with Thai lemongrass and mint. That sounds super refreshing and healthy, right? It's a green tea beverage, craft iced tea. It's gotta be a good option for you. Nope, 23 grams of sugars. <coughs> you guys, terrible for you too. All right, last one, <coughs> excuse me. So this is one of my husband's favorites and my husband is a type one diabetic. If you don't know what that means, his uh, pancreas doesn't work. So if he takes in carbs and sugar, he's got to replace, um, not really replace, but he's got to give himself insulin to bring his sugars back down because his pancreas doesn't work. And this is one of his favorite things. Like we'll be on a road trip when we do road trips often. He'll run and he'll be like, I just need a coffee. I need something. And he'll come out with a Frappuccino. And it's the coffee flavor. I didn't even do a chocolate or a vanilla flavor. This is the coffee flavor. It's 290 calories for this drink, by the way. But um, I remember him coming out, it was a few months ago, and he's been trying to kind of cut back on his carbs and sort of be keto-ish, but not really. I looked at the back of it, 53 grams of carbs. You're just drinking pure sugar. It's terrible for you, you guys. It really, really is, it's poisoning your body, and so you'll feel really good, and then you'll have that crash again, and and you have all of these like peaks and valleys in your energy and that's why we all feel like crap all the time honestly go watch the magic pill and you'll see what I mean they're smarter than me so I'm, I'm here to offer another alternative you've seen me talk about it but even if you're not in it for weight loss or fat loss or whatever if you're in it for energy or just a better alternative for all this crap and there are way worse options in every gas station I mean I could have picked up five Mountain Dews if you drink that every day. Like, just think of all the stuff that you buy or consume every day that's not water. And really start paying attention to what's in them. The ketones, you guys. So, I'm, I'm literally, I mix this with water in a shaker cup once a day. Go and grab this instead of grabbing that crap. Like, all of that is terrible for you. In this, there's, um, there's two net carbs in it. Um, but this is going to reduce your sugar cravings. It's going to reduce your cravings in general. It's kind of got a little bit of an appetite suppressant in there. It's going to give you unreal energy. Unreal energy. And it's not like the jittery coffee kind. It's like smooth and amazing and you're focused. And I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It's, it's fuel for your brain. It's the simplest, most pure form of fuel for your body and for your brain. And that's why it works. That's why people love it. That's why scientists are researching it and doctors back it and even prescribe it to some. Like, that's why the research is like tons and tons and tons of research is being doing about this, being done about this stuff because it works and it doesn't work because it's a fad or a quick fix. It works because science, you guys. So it's awesome. It tastes kind of like a crystal light or something. It's good. It's and it's in the same liquid form as like one of these peach teas. It's not like drinking a smoothie or a weird texture. But think about that. Think about this as an option for all of that crap, all of the things that we pick up on a whim because we need a boost of energy and it never lasts. This lasts. And then, oh yeah, the other great side effects, you do sleep better. There is fat loss and all that stuff associated with it, especially if you combine it with low carb. But it's just a better option than all of those drinks. So just start thinking about what you're putting in your body. If you go to grab a drink from a convenience store or from anywhere, just read the label really quick. See what you're actually 
putting in your body. Um, and if you do, if you're rewatching this or watching it now, and I see a handful of you guys on there, I know we're bumping up against like everybody leaving work, but if you're interested in learning more, or if you have questions, like put your favorite emoji in the comments. You need to try these. That's all I'm going to say about it is because I can't even explain it until you try. Just try it out. It's worth 10 days of your time and 65 of your dollars. Like it's not all that crazy. Think about what might actually change your life for real. So and the last thing I'll say about it is I used to be one of those people who completely crashed at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. And every single day I work in downtown Durham. I would leave the office and I would go and walk, I don't know, it was probably like a quarter mile and go to the, lo the, slow, the, the local coffee spot and I would get a double latte with that extra shot in there to survive the rest of my three hours at work and then I would go home and like have to have a glass of wine or two to survive until bedtime with the kids and then that was just my routine. Wake up and do it all over again, feel miserable, drink a ginormous coffee do the best I can, make it to lunch, eat, walk back to the salad dealia where I would get more coffee to like fuel myself because I needed something and it was filled with sugar and all that stuff. And then I would crash again. It was just a bad, bad cycle. This ends the cycle. Put your favorite emoji in the comments and I will send you more information. And I'm telling you guys 10 days of time for something that might end this vicious, vicious cycle. Just just trust me and try it out. Like you really won't regret it. You know, if you do, I don't know, it's 10 days of your time. Who really cares? But just trust me. And even if you don't do any of that, take away this, check your labels. Just start thinking about what you're putting in your body and go watch the magic pill. It's amazing. All right. See you guys later. The rain has slowed. I'm going to try to get out of my car.